Well, let's talk sports. We've already done our footy tips. We'll put them up on the socials and you can check them out thanks to the Toyota Forklift Advantage. Visit toyotamaterialhandling.com.au. Just quickly, last night, the big fight we're looking forward to, Sonny Bill Williams and Barry Hall. Well, Barry Hall got knocked out in about 90 seconds. Long 70 seconds for Barry Hall. It's a Williams it's win! Over. Sonny Bill, he's the king! Wow! Round one, and we're going home! Unbelievable, Barry! That was incredible by Sonny Bill Williams! He just smoked him! Oh, yeah. Wow! And it was all over, just like that. Uh, we are yeah. going to chat some boxing with Tim Zhu coming up after 8 yeah, o'clock this morning as well, that, ahead of his big bit, fight. Sorry, Paige, just quickly, mm. that will be a mouth-watering affair now. You've got to think. You've got to think that Sonny Bill Williams and Paul Gowan has got to be the next big fight we're going to see here in Australia. Bring that on. Huge Wouldn't you be ratings. shattered if you um, were just running a little bit late for that fight? Like, you're like, you go in and I'll quickly get a park and go I'll to- be Go to the toilet, I'll grab the pies <laughs> and you go in front of me. Oh, he's knocked the F out. Uh, let's talk footy, though. The Dolphins are sniffing around for players for next season, MG, and the Melbourne Storm have quite a few big names that they would like to uh, get down, locked in on paper. Yeah, our very own Brent Reid reported yesterday that the Storm are very, very close to re-signing Harry Grant and Jerome Hughes to long-term contracts. Cameron Munster, not so. At the moment, um, his manager and NRL 360 host, Braithen Nasta, <laughs> he had this to say about him last night. Cameron to stay, you got to understand, he's not off contract till the end of next year. So there's no real hurry for Cameron mm. to sign anything. Uh, if he does stay, you'll have to take a, a big pay cut. Oh. So that's for him to decide. And that's for us to decide in the short term. But I, we won't be hurrying into anything. I, I mean, he's in, he's in a great headspace at the moment. Physically and mentally, he's in mm. the best he's ever felt. I would be blown away if he stays with the Melbourne Storm. I, I think the writing is on the wall. I think Wayne Bennett has come knocking. And when he comes knocking, you better <laughs> tie up your horse and take off your, your cowboy hat and take it, throw away your cigar because he's coming with guns loaded, and I think the guns loaded are going to be aimed at Cameron Munster to be the marquee signing of the Dolphins Oh my God! In 2023. My, in my head, Wayne Bennett does all his signings by a horse, and so like he goes to <coughs> Munster's mum's house and ties the horse up out the front of the house, and then Munster's mum comes up and she's like, ah, you pooed on the lawn! Oh, Get no. the horse out of here! Wayne had turned on the charm for You're Munster's mum, I can tell you <laughs> oh, that. Oh yeah, he's, he's, he's something, something about Wayne is <laughs> he's an attraction, so yeah, look, a very great news for the Melbourne Storm um, because Jerome Hughes, one of the hottest players in the competition, and Harry Grant, probably the hottest player at the moment, look like re- re-signing for long-term deals. But Cameron Munster, as uh, Braithen Astor mentioned last night, if he, I don't think he'll take a pay cut. I do not think he'll take a pay cut, and I think he'll be the marquee signing of the Dolphins for 2023.